going on you guys it's your girl conditional and i'm back with another video so as you can see by the pictures today we're talking about aggressive risuko yay let's get into it all right so aggressive risuko is basically an anime about a um lonely office worker who has dreams of being something more than what she is currently like she doesn't like her job um i don't even think she likes her friends <laughs> to be honest with you and like how she escapes and how she releases all that is she does um karaoke and she does you know death metal karaoke so she draws her face um and she just really gets into it really into the mode Personally, um, the only office friends that I like that she has is the bird and the gorilla that are pictured here. I forgot their names, unfortunately. But let's talk about just a few things of what I love about Aggressor Rusuko. So, number one, be careful of jealous co-workers. As pictured here, this <laughs> man, this, this deer, this gazelle, whatever she is, she was really a hater. She really was a secret hater and she was just really she really did not put in a whole bunch of work and really kind of dumped it on aggressive Rasuko. um uh, what's another thing that i can say be happy no matter what you choose so i'm kind of jumping a little bit ahead here but at the ending sorry this is a spoiler alert at the ending we found that aggressive Rasuko after she went through um everything that she wanted to go through she basically ended up back where she was and but she was happier and i and i think there's a couple of different reasons why um so there's another one i wanted to discuss it's follow a dream in your heart and follow it now so aggressive uh rasuko i'm gonna call her rasuko rasuko really the dream she had was she wanted to be an idol like she wanted to just do something differently. I think she did accounting because it was easy. Something she was good at. But I don't think she was passionate about it. You know. So take risks. You know. Have that dream. Follow it. And just be confident in it. Okay. There's a couple of other things that I found. Hold on. I have to flip. All right. So, try doing multiple careers and hobbies. We all get stuck in doing one thing. So, I would tell you to try to do multiple things to see which one is the best fit for you. Number two, remember to live life actively. I felt like Rasuko was letting things just pass her by. She really was just living life in a passive moment. Oh, I'm just paying bills and I'm going to work period all right number three packages addressed to you come in different wrappings than expected if you can remember aggressive Rasuko had a boyfriend before she got with her her current her first boyfriend was like this donkey but i really felt like he he paid attention to aggressive Rasuko. like he knew her for who she really was and and that maybe that's part of the reason why they broke up you know so packages addressed to you don't always look like you know, how you want them to look, but they are addressed indeed to you. Number four, friend zoning and why is it, why is it important to be aware of who you really are? So throughout the anime, aggressive Rasuko really did a uh, friend zone Haida. Like she friend zoned him so freaking hard that he really. He was stuck in a friend zone until she decided to bring him out. So, and, and why it's important to be aware of who you are. Oftentimes, people will friend zone people and they'll friend zone them, and, but they'll give them that little piece of hope, as in saying, Oh, you know, we're friends, but I sit in your lap and I kiss you when I want some attention. But we're friends. Yeah, be aware, be aware if that's who you are or why you are. Please be aware of that because broke hearts like you can get stabbed you really can okay number five take the time to invest in yourself yo if you don't take the time to invest in yourself no one will and if you and if you do 
hopefully they're not trying to use you be aware of that okay number seven rising female independency ro results in low marriages what i found that aggress i feel like Rasuko did a lot of settling in this anime i'm just gonna say it i feel like she did a lot of settling like she's female she's independent but i feel like she settled in her job and she settled with Haida. No offense, but I personally feel like that wasn't the guy she really wanted. I just feel like she she settled anyway. And then let's talk about the abuse women still face. Do you know a woman can be mega rich, married down, and the guy still abuse her? You know? Did you know a woman could be poor and the guy be kind of off, kind of well off? Or have a little bit of money and a woman still get abused? Hmm. Why is that? Hmm. Ponder it. Alright. Seven. Achieve your potential. Now, we don't all achieve our potentials. And most of us give up before we are even, before we even reach it. So try your best to achieve your potential every day, every hour. Try. Alright. Number eight. Are you too ambitious? What does too ambitious look like to you? Like, let's take um, Rasuko for example. She really was, excuse me, she really was um, ambitious, I feel like, especially when she met the cheetah guy. Like, after she hit his car, she became, I feel like she became very goal entering, very goal oriented, and very forward, and just very precise in her planning so well that she was able to save him a lot of money we're on number nine obsession is not healthy folks Haida obsessed over um Rasuko and so did her stalker and in, in his obsession he was able to save her but he was so obsessed and that's why he was there obsession isn't healthy folks if you are obsessed with something you should probably just let it go okay 10. Opportunists. Again, Haida. What are they? How do you spot an opportunist? An opportunist basically is someone that looks for the perfect opportunity to come F up your life or to weasel their way in and they take full advantage of it. How to spot one? Man, when, you, when a person is always in the right spot at the right time, they could be an opportunist. People have lives. They don't have time to sit around and just follow yours. So if there's always a person that's always there for you, they're always perfect, they're always this, please um, be acknowledgeable of the fact that they could be an opportunist. Okay, uh, mental illness. Aggressive Rasuko was depressed this whole time. And really what changed Aggressive Rasuko's demeanor and her mind was definitely karaoke. But really it was the, it was the cheetah. Or the leopard I forget which animal he was he really changed her demeanor because he gave her basically a new opportunity at life he gave her a new opportunity to rethink her career he gave that to her yes she hit his car yes she did work for him to work down that debt but it was him who gave it to her okay and actually folks that's all I have <laughs> I was about to say jealous co-workers but we talked about this <laughs> So that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, and comment down below what you think about Aggressive Rasuko. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch it. Until then, take care. Bye.